Hello, Una from Oz here. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. I'm going to continue on with my little series of starting out and journaling. Last week I did a video on what is stopping you from starting some journaling or even art. And today's video I'm going to talk about the absolute bare basics of the things you need to start. And I kept it to five items because not everybody's got a huge budget. And not everybody can go out and afford all kinds of everything. So um, the first thing you'll need is something to journal in. Now, I found this little one I made a while ago and it's just a handmade journal. It's some six before pre-printed cards, punched a hole, two holes and tied it with a bit of twine. Easy peasy. So these are pre-printed cards, you could use plain paper, you could get a notebook from the discount store, you could get a little journal from the discount store. So the first thing you need is something to journal in, whether you want to collage or paint or even just write and draw. So my second one is a pair of scissors, I've got a couple of scissors here. So the second one is a pair of scissors. These are not expensive, they're good quality craft scissors, I think they're about $6, they have a finer point. I actually prefer these ones, um, I like the way I don't have to curl my fingers around and particularly if I'm doing lots of fuzzy cutting, I uh, find these good, they're very sharp, they're Fiskars brand and they're very pointy, but I really like these ones, they lock shut. I like these ones and these are the ones I use the most, but I do use these as well. Another thing that um, is needed for when you start it is a pen of some sort. Um, I quite like this pen. I did explain it in the other video, but it was a free gift in a box of journaling stuff that I bought. And it's got multi-colours, it's easy to use, it works, it actually works every time. And um, it's great. It's good because it's got multi-colours and you've only got to just have the one item. So you could draw, you could write, you could uh, even do a bit of colouring in with this one. Another one I like is glue sticks. I use a lot of glue sticks. I find them extremely economical. I used to buy the really cheap ones and they used to let me down because the glue wouldn't hold. So I now buy this brand or I buy the Boss Stick brand. I tend to buy them in... Uh, packs of 12 or 24 because I go through so many because I do card making and scrapbooking as well. So glue stick is good particularly if you're interested in collage. I use the glue stick for most collage. The only thing I don't use it for is uh, thicker things like uh, chipboards and wooden shapes but a glue stick will really get you out of trouble for most stuff. And the last item that I really like is a ruler. This is a little uh, aluminium one. It's got inches on one side, it's got centimetres on the other and it actually came from a discount store and it was about a dollar. So yeah, really like this. I have used and used and used and used this for many, many years. Yes, it's a bit marked up, but it's still holding up. The numbers haven't worn off and use it. Another one, if you like a slightly bigger one, this is a steel ruler. Um, this is a branded one, but you can get these from discount stores as well. Um, rulers are also really handy if you're going to actually rip paper because you can actually place your ruler down and you can just lift up and you can rip, which gives you um, a straight edge, but not necessarily a cut sharp edge. So rulers are really good. I use this one. It's got nice rounded edge, so it's um, very user friendly. This one is a little sharper on the edges. Um, but again, a good ripping ruler. Because I do a lot of scrapbooking, I actually like a ruler that's 12 inches wide. Again, this has got inches and centimetres. So I find that uh, works really, really well. It's got a conversion table on the back, which I've never used. But I find this really good. I also like the way it's got the inches and the centimetres on the same side, because I can easily convert. So those are my top five must-haves when you want to start out in journaling. Of course you can mix and match, you don't have to have a multicolored pen, you could start with the black one or plain blue one. You might have um, two or three pens in different colors, but I find that these five little basics will really really get you out of trouble and just get you going. Um, I thought because 
this, that would be um, not that exciting showing these. I found a really old journal scratching through my pile this morning. I have oh, well over 25 journals now. I found this little one. It's a collage journal themed on birds and um, it's really cute. I've actually finished it which is uh, unusual for me so I thought I would give you a quick flip through. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.